guys I hope you all are doing great I want to share with you my pantry organization I'm going to share the before and this is what it looks like after so it was really cluttered I really put it off for a while it probably need to be organized like around the holidays times and last year I did mention that I was going to share and then I believe I got caught up with some other things I was and it was time to go back to work so it was long overdue stuff was spilling out um, my boys was dropping stuff like um, sugar and so forth and there are a couple of tweaks that I would like to do I think this may be my third pantry organization but my fourth time or fifth time ever doing it that I can I know I've recorded it three times this is my third time so I'll make sure I'll find those and link those they should be in an organization playlist but let's get started with this and um, an improvement that I would like to do in my shelves for one is I had these for a while and we've been here since December 2010 so I would like to eventually get some or maybe next year or so get some wooden shelves and get rid of the wire shelving and because some of the things they're starting to bow a little bit because of the weight and that's why I decided to go ahead and put the king goods in the corner over here on the floor I really didn't like them on the floor because I was using them a lot but I don't use them a whole lot anymore because I use fresh or frozen and yeah so starting I guess from the bottom you'll see that I do need to I do need to go grocery shopping and have that on have that stocked up so I need some more canned goods I would like to get another one beside it but um, we're just going to work with that and those come from Walmart those can organizers you, I'm sure you can get it from other stores but those come from Walmart Another improvement I would like to do in the pantry is maybe some lighting, but that would be the last thing on my list. And then also maybe some more shelving at the top. I just thought about that. More shelving at the top because it's like a lot of or extra space up there, at least for maybe two more shelves. So I would like to do that at the top. On my door, I would like to get one of those over the door little pantry organizers that go all the way down to the floor that you actually have to drill in the door so I would like to get that because I had this one for some time now and then maybe a new pantry door those see-through ones are really nice and I'm trying to think if that's it guys oh of course I would like to upgrade to some baskets and I think I like the I was watching Miss Liz Hart and I had the same issue with my family where I love the Dollar Tree baskets, but I really like those white bins. That one that has all the oatmeal in it. I'm pointing the wrong way. Oatmeal here, and I'll go in closer in a second. But I really like those, and my family tend, even though that's kind of small, but my family tends to, I noticed last last year, if they don't see it, then they don't get it. Um, other than those snacks that's here <laughs> if they don't see it they won't get it or they don't realize it's in there and um, I was doing the same thing and we were buying duplicates or stuff so um, I see that it's by it being more see-through that would be beneficial so I'm gonna be on the lookout for maybe some bins that were somewhat see-through that would be an upgrade and then also I would like to get at the bottom crates I'm sorry from Walmart and they have those and right now I'm just trying to save use what I have save all my coins because child going off to school one just went back to school and yeah so those are the things that have been on my list for a while okay guys I'm really happy about how it turned out and yeah it came together pretty well there were two things that I wasn't sure if I wanted to do put my appliances on this second to the bottom row or the last row and 
because I'm short and sometimes it's a little pain to get something down like my crock pot or something but I decided to keep them up there and I had like yeah I decided to keep it up there so I put my farmers market sign that came from Target right there in the middle and then I'll zoom in in one second and then my bread maker is here my crock pot is here my um what is that thing called my deep fryer is here turkey fryer is right there in the middle behind the sign and then in the corner is my key rig and I don't have a big um, nice one because we don't drink coffee so I usually have that for the holidays and then um, I just put that there and it moves different places sometimes it's on the counter and then over here is my Wolfgang puck it's like a crock pot um, it sautés, it's a slow cooker, well slow cooker is a crock pot, and what else, um, I think that's it, but it can like cook stuff, um, to boiling temperatures, and then also I have my recipe boxes here, but I think I'm going to move those, and then at the very top, I just can't part with it, is a popcorn maker that I got off of QVC years ago, and then over here, I have my um, cookbook organizer that my mom got me and then a clipboard is the pantry organizer not organizer inventory sheet and then also the recipe book that I use for the holidays I think I showed it in a Thanksgiving haul a Thanksgiving um, cook with me or something like that so I have all my appliances up there. I realize because it's on in my dining room that my kasori is not up here. And I don't think I have room even if I move this. So I'm not sure of my recipe book. So I'm going to see because the kasori is kind of large. But there is something that I'm looking at from Walmart that I want to put more of my entertaining pieces in. Party pieces and um, some of my kitchen appliances that won't fit that I don't use every day. And on my shelves, guys, I have, if you haven't seen that video, I have tiles. So those tiles that you get from, I got these from Aldi. So you can get them from your home improvement store. And I did that so that things won't fall through. But I did notice with all the weight um, from these can holders, these, this organizer, I did notice that it did puncture through the tile that's how heavy it was so that's why I know eventually I need to get some wooden shelves so on top of the tile I have this um, contact paper and I didn't care which one it was so I just grabbed this one to get so the jars will not slide because they will slide I have had these for a year and I just refilled them and I finally used the labels and the labels are from Target and also the letters that are on there, the words rice, oatmeal, flour, brown sugar. And the jars actually came from Walmart. You get six in a pack. They're really, for me, it was hard to find. Um, I seen them in someone's video and I just wanted to find them. I can't, I want to say it's a gallon size, but it's about, was it about $12? Um, the ball mason jars and I really like them to put all those dry goods in them and then in the middle yeah I covered everything in the middle I just have a lazy Susan where I have my EVOO some honey and um, that's canola oil that's there right now sometimes it's vegetable oil or peanut oil and moving over here I have at the bottom that's holding up these Dollar Tree containers I have a canned good riser so I just wanted I didn't want them all even maybe eventually over here that I may get those um, two by fours or something to stack the ones in the back but um, yeah I got the Dollar Tree organizers I need one more for white sugar and I really like these, so I just use the things that we had in our pantry or we've been using the past couple of, um, I would say at least a year. And that's how I decided how to make it on container itself. 
So over here I have sunflower seeds. Jason likes to make um, his own trail mix. So I got some sunflower seeds. The tags came from actually from Walmart. And most of the time I always have some chalkboard labels or some type of, I probably do upstairs, but I think I used all my chalkboard labels. So I just picked up these tags. They were like $1.44 for like 12 in a pack and just used some tape and a chalk marker to put them on there. Then I have some peanuts. Um, I have some beans. I just labeled it beans because it may be a different type of beans later. And you can also purchase these containers if they don't have them in the store. Like my store, they're all gone now. They have plenty. And you can order them online as well. And you don't have to like order 24. I think you can order 6, 12. I'm not sure above that. Um, I have some almonds back there in the back. And my husband was funny because he was like, what did you do with, um, he was like, oh, you put it all in here. So, okay, then here in this container, it has like a flip top and then, um, it has grits and then I put the instructions on the back and just cut it out. And then I put some breadcrumbs there, some croutons there, and right here is just some breader. I tend to always get like the seafood breader or chicken breader, mainly the seafood breader. So I just um, made its own container. I do need one more for sugar. And I'm trying to think if it's something else, but I just wanted to grab an extra one anyway. On the next row here is like kind of a snack. Well, it is a snack row. So my boys did really well. Um, actually, I went to the store on Saturday. Today is Wednesday, and they did not demolish everything because I told them I needed to do a video. So that's just YouTube life. And um, I set this up so they could be set for back to school. I am about to go to Aldi again, and there's some things that um, Josiah that Josiah likes that I don't have. So, and then there's some back to school campus stuff I want to get today. So, over here I have some healthy snacks and I just labeled it. These as well came from Target. So, I had them for like a while, guys. They may have them periodically um, throughout the seasons, but I had the labels for maybe two years, three years. Yeah. So, over here are some healthy snacks like some Weight Watcher snacks, some low fat popcorn. Um, some chickpeas, I think they were giving out in the meeting, stuff like that. Is that it? Um, and some fit and active. I don't want to go through each one, but I don't have a lot of stuff in here. Fit and active snack packs. And then over here are some snacks that I got, you know, as soon as you go on Walmart, they have those, um, back to school snacks that you can put in their lunchbox. So I got these for JJ so that he will not, um, pick a higher price snack at school which he likes to do and I'm like judging for that I could have bought a whole box or um, bought you a half of a box or something so I try to have these on hand and he acts like he's so hungry it's the variety pack so it has like the crackers and stuff like that um, also this being I meant to label it I forgot it is Josiah's so he likes his goldfish um, he likes crackers which are over here and everybody or the boys and Jason loves crackers so they like right now these honey Ritz crackers um, I think I recorded it so I show in a haul and then these crunch master if you want something crunchy they don't taste the best this is what they look like I don't know if I showed that in the haul but um the bariatric community we're talking about no, my daughter's office was talking about that. And so if you wanted something crunchy. Then over here I just have some extra space to grow. And I have some pretzel rods. I like to eat those every now and then. And then over here some more snacks. Um, some popcorn. JJ loves popcorn. Well, all of them do. And then some Nutty Butters. Some Nutella. Josiah. Um, not Josiah. JJ loves these. And I was going to get them more. But they only had this at the Dollar Tree. And then some Swiss rolls down there in the bottom. Then some tortilla chips over here. And JJ likes, um, no, everybody likes tortilla chips with um, some salsa. So it's not the best of the healthiest snacks. But I told JJ to write down, um, I think I said this in a haul, 
to write down what he likes um, because he's the most pickiest and I told him it couldn't be all junk but it had to be something so I have more things in the fridge like some cold things yeah I like some cold things like some applesauce and some fruit and we have some grapes in here and some celery so my fridge is not um, organized as a yet it was supposed to be but yeah okay the next row I have these containers that I got from Walmart I really like them a lot that's another thing I need to pick up is some cereal and then also I wanted to take some of this um, Cheerios out and put them in little baggies for Saya because my family will Jason hasn't had a chance but once he's off he will have a chance to um, smash that cereal he even bought him a cereal bowl <laughs> who buys a cereal bowl a big cereal bowl from Dollar Tree or he calls it a cereal bowl then over here I um and usually we have Fruit Loops in one and Frosted Flakes in the other. And then over here I have a breakfast bin. It is full of ton of oatmeal. I think my boys are a little burned out with the oatmeal. They, um, yeah, they're a little burned out with the oatmeal. But I asked them, what is your favorite? So that I won't um, get the other kind. But I think Jason gets the other kind for himself. So um, all the different varieties. So I took it out of the box so they can see it. So they know it's there. And Trail is about to go off to school, so he has no other choice. Um, in the corner, I have baking items, and I don't have, um, I don't bake a whole lot, especially now. So I have just put that in the corner. Some pasta and rice bin, and I have more pasta than rice. I think I have bowl in the bag and that rice because I usually use the other kind. And then over here, I have some condiments, and they go through this really quickly so I probably need to switch these two bins because they're always grabbing peanut butter ketchup and mustard at the bottom row guys I just have room to grow here and it feels like I have something missing <laughs> I don't know it just does I know I try to take a lot of non-food stuff out um, than before and then beside I have like some sauces so in this one I have stuff like um I think it used some chocolate syrup in there. But I just didn't have room, so that's why the hot sauce is in there. Salad dressings that haven't been opened. Marinades. Pasta sauce and stuff like that. And then the one in the middle is just water bottles. I used to have them at the bottom. Or sometimes I had them on this row. And then coffee items and tea, like um, pies and so forth. The sweetener and then also maybe some cinnamon sticks are in here. Guess I should pull it out. Or just in cocoa, stuff like that, apple cinnamon, all of that, and the syrup is all of that in there. Then over here, I have like some lunch um, pails and stuff. And because I come home on my break, I don't take my lunch a whole lot. The boys don't either for school. Um, they should, because, um, well, Trail is about to go to college. But JJ is really picky about what he wants for lunch but then when he takes his lunch he's still hungry but he's always hungry to also put my water in here and then over here is like some grilling tools um, that you clean the grill and so forth so I probably maybe will move that eventually and then I have space to put something in the middle there the grilling tools may go in the middle but right now we use them a lot because it's the summertime then this over the door organizer I have for a while that I showed in many hauls. I think I got this from ABC Distribution. I don't remember guys. And then what I have here at the bottom is just um, sugar free. And so I was thinking of a really pretty way to display the sugar free. And I used to keep it in this little jar. But I like it this way because... Um, my kids go through it really fast, especially JJ. Um, Jason does too. And I don't want to, I want to know what we are out of. And when you take it all out of the packets, you don't know what we're out of. And so if I'm trying to order groceries or go to Aldi right quick, I already know that I need more fruit punch because it's only two in here. Um, I have plenty of lemonade or may need to get another one because they like that. And over here, um, it's just going to be right now. Usually I kept like paper goods in here and stuff like that. But I don't have anything in here. So I did pretty good with purging. And then this sign I finally put up milk butter 
bread and eggs from the Target One spot. And then up here is just some jars that I've used uh, for a cocoa bar before. You can put seasonings or whatever in it. So I like that I have space to grow, that I did get rid of some stuff. Um, what is also missing out of here is a lot of um, Tupperware like stuff. And um, I'm trying to think what else is missing out of here. But I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in my kitchen island and I may show that organization. Um, it's probably not going to be fancy dancy. And then on my pantry door, I don't have anything. I have like a um, corner pantry. So my fridge is here. And then um, I did have something up here before, but I took it down if you guys remember. But I purchased this sign from Hobby Lobby and I just used the command picture strips and just hung that up there so it's up here like super good it probably is not gonna come off um have to yank it off but i would like to maybe get a fancy dancy door one day um but i like my little pantry sign i think it's really cute and i do want to go get the grocery i think it's groceries and co from michael's so i really want to get that and i need to make sure i keep track of the sales to see when that's on sale and since I'm showing my pantry and it's just right here, I have my eat sign. I don't know if I ever showed it in a video or not. And then I have my um, sign from Hobby Lobby. No, the eat sign is from Hobby Lobby. This sign is from Michael's. Give us this day our daily bread. And then this chalkboard and stuff needs to be cleaned up. But um, it was this was very improm. So um, the cork not cork yeah the pin push pin board over here and the top board here is from Tuesday morning and I think I showed this on Instagram and Facebook and then here I have like my recipe book the recollections recipe book and um, my Kasori books and so forth and this actually came from Michaels so I like this a lot. It's very convenient. If I want to meal plan, it's big. If I want to meal plan and put it in there, um, if I don't use my board over here. So that's it. so that is it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, hope you got some ideas or some tips from this. I know I like to watch other people's organization to get tips or what and then you have to do them for yourself to see if they'll work for you so thanks again for watching guys bye bye